Hello, Arn. How are you? Hope you all are well. Now, we continue our lessons with Access 8, Unit 7C, Job Ads. Ads here means advertisements. Exercise 1. Look at the ads. Where could you see them? What are they looking for? Now, we have a look at the two ads here. We are looking for activities organizers to work with children aged 6 to 16 at various summer camps in the USA and Canada. Must be available for at least 8 weeks from June through August. Previous experience working with children an advantage but a pleasant energetic personality is more important. Apply in writing to Mr. Jefferson, Post Office Box 3261. Alright, let's have a look at uh, some vocabularies. Um, we're looking for activities on a to work with children aged 6 to 16 at various summer camps in the US and Canada. Must be available. Uh, available here has mean uh, that means you are free you are free for the time they want you to spend with the children at the camps available it means free for this eight weeks from June to August previous experience working previous experience working that means you have worked somewhere before you take this job with, an, with children an advantage but a pleasant that means you are uh, friendly and uh, likable energetic that means you uh, always feel uh, you always feel ready to do something yeah you apply in that means you send your application form to Mr. Jefferson yes now F2 Forest Glaze Summer Camp is looking for a part-time sales person for the camp store. The right person will be hard-working, honest, and reliable. Experience is desirable, but not necessary as full training is provided. Applying writing to Mrs. Brown, Post Office Box 3264. Now, part-time sales person. A safe person is a shopkeeper, part-time, that means uh, the shopkeeper uh, doesn't need to work for a whole day, just half a day or uh, some hours. Alright, part-time safe person. The right person will be hard-working, honest. If someone is honest, that means he or she uh, doesn't like telling lies. He or she likes telling the truth. Yeah, and reliable. If someone is reliable, that means other people uh, believe in him or her. Yeah, reliable. Experience is desirable. Desirable, uh, required, or really needed. Really desirable. Yeah, required or really needed. All right. So <clears throat> now I think you understand the two ends what they are about yeah <coughs> now go on exercise 2 ah sorry sorry we answer the question where could you see them what are they advertising for all right now think for a minute and uh, you have the answer in your mind before i give you the key answer yeah Oh, no, no. Look at the answer. You could see the ads in a newspaper, magazine, or on a website. They are both job ads. The first one is advertising for activities organizers for summer camps. And the second one is advertising for part-time salesperson for a summer camp store. Yeah. Exercise 2. Read the application letter. 
this is the application letter which job is it for how does it start and end now let's read dear mrs brown i writing to apply for the position of part-time salesperson as advertised in saturday's tribune I'm a 16-year-old student currently in my senior year in high school. I'm studying for my sets and I expect to do well in both English and math. Although I have no work experience, I'm an honest and hardworking person. I'm friendly and like to meet new people and I feel these are suitable qualities for the position. I'm available for an interview in the afternoons. Thank you for your consideration. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Cheryl Green. Alright, says here is a kind of test that American children take at age 16 to enter university. Set uh, is the abbreviation of uh, scholastic. Aptitude test, scholastic aptitude test. All right, now uh, let's check some new vocabulary. Um, my senior year. That means Sarah Green is in the child race, uh, the child race. Yeah, all right, child. Yes. Uh, I feel these are uh, suitable qualities for the position. Qualities. A quality uh, show how good or bad something is. It is quality. Quality is. Uh, quality shows how good or bad something is. Thank you for your consideration. Consideration here is when you have consideration for someone. That means you always think about him or her. You pay attention to their wishes and feelings and yeah, consideration. All right. So now, answer the question. Which job is it for? And how does it start? And how does it end? Now, look at the answer. It is for the part-time salesperson job. It starts with dear Miss Mrs. Brown and ends with your sincerely. Exercise 3. You read the application letter again and find sentences which mean I want to apply in the letter where you find the meaning of I want to apply. Now look, I'm writing to apply here. Go on, I haven't worked before. I haven't worked before. I have no work experience. I have no work experience. I have what you need for the job. I feel these are suitable qualities for the position here. Yeah. I'm free to see you. I'm available for an interview. I want to hear from you. I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to hearing from you. Remember, look forward to doing something. Yeah, look forward to doing something. Doing. Yes. Exercise 4. Now. In case you want to write an application letter for the job in the other app, answer the questions. The information to answer the seven questions here. Alright. Now, who are you writing to? Who are you writing to? To Mr. Jefferson here. Is it? Yes. Why are you writing the letter? Why? Why? Because you want to apply for the position of activities organizer. Where did you see the end? Where? Where did you see the end? 
in Saturday's debut. It is the name of a newspaper. Who are you and why are you studying? I'm a seven year old student studying at for my SAT exams. Do you have any work experience? I have experience as a baby sister. Oh no, baby sister over the last two years. I taken care of three children. So now I age the between eight to eleven years old on a regular basis. What are you like? I'm an enthusiastic and fun-loving person and I have an energetic and pleasant personality. Why are you available for an interview? I'm available for an interview in the evenings and on the weekends. All right, so exercise five. Uh, it is your homework. Uh, at home, you write an application letter. Uh, you try to imagine some organization or some shop or someone else. Uh, they advertise for their job. Yeah. So uh, you write an application letter and then send me via my email. Nguyen Bamin zero a at gmail dot com. Yeah. Right. First, uh, before you write an application letter, try to do this exercise so that you can have uh, some information and you can uh, and you um, you are familiar with how to write an application letter. Yeah. Look at this application letter. Complete the blanks in the letter before you commit I think you should listen so that you can commit thoroughly and correctly Dear Mr. Jefferson I am writing to apply for the position of activities organizer as advertised in Saturday's Tribune I am a 17 year old student currently studying for my SAT exams I have experience working with children as a babysitter. Over the last two years, I have taken care of three children, now aged between eight and 11 years old on a regular basis. I am an enthusiastic and fun-loving person and I have an energetic and pleasant personality. I am available for an interview in the evenings and on weekends. Thank you for your consideration. I look forward to hearing from you. Yours sincerely, Ellen Taylor. Yeah. Now, can you supply the missing word correctly? I think you can. Now, look at the answer. Yeah. So, now, that's the end of the lesson today. Your main job today is to write an application letter. As I told you before, you write an application letter for a job. You imagine the job and you try to imagine the job. And send me via my email letter, uh, email address, Nguyen Bam Minh, 08 at gmail.com. Alright. Goodbye for now.